So, a very good evening to you and you're welcome to the University of Professional Studies here in Accra, where the biggest opposition party, the National Democratic Congress, is, um, is, is doing the launch of its manifesto for the 2020 general elections. Much anticipated. This has been for a very long time, but it's been postponed and finally the manifesto launch is happening here at the University of professional studies a lot has been said already about what to expect the big push the 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 free primary health care and, and 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 many other things the former uh, leader of the country John Dramani Mahama has been saying that he would do if he comes back into office but we're going to engage the uh, a former deputy finance minister in his administration at the time Kweku Ricketts Higgin to to tease out his mind as to what's going to be contained in the manifesto them. But let me just take you back a little bit. That in 2016, the NDC themed the manifesto, Changing Lives, Transforming Ghana. What is going to be different from the 2016 manifesto uh, compared to now? Well, thank you very much, uh, Komla. Um, and uh, good evening to your, to your viewers and those who are listening to us uh, this evening. Yes. Uh, this, this particular manifesto, it's uh, mainly going to be about jobs and growth. Obvious, unfortunately, we've had a, a pandemic, which is uh, basically caused a lot of uh, uh, difficulty for us as an economy. So um, what, what we are focusing on is basically to be able to create jobs that were lost and create new jobs and also be able to grow, to be able to grow the economy. So it's about growth and growth and or jobs and growth. Let me take you to uh, some of the th key things that His Excellency John Ramani Mahama has been saying on the campaign trail. He makes a point that he wants to do, or when he comes to office, he's going to do free uh, health care. That's free uh, primary health care. Already we know that it's uh, captured under the NHIS, but if your card expires, uh, it means you're unable to do it. Now, you give me a gist as to what this is going to entail. Well, it won't be long. His Excellency, former President Mahama, will, will do his presentation. And uh, I wouldn't actually want to take the sale uh, you know, out of his win. Uh, but basically, the manifesto, or a manifesto generally, is about a published you know, declaration mm -hmm. of what, um, if we become a government, what our intentions you know, are and, and, and what we intend to do in terms of vision. When, and when, when he talks about free primary health care yeah. i'm sure you as a finance man uh you know how to do the computations you know where he's going to get the money from one has has he been able to cost it how much is it going to cost the taxpayer where is the money going to come from well um, as you know we don't behave like the mpps when they basically announce things based on the knee jerk reactions obviously everything has been costed i had opportunity you know to work on the to, I had an opportunity to work with the, you know, the, the finance uh, and economic committee uh, of the manifesto. That's one of the wings of the manifesto. And all these things came up and it's been properly costed. But as I what said... What is the cost? Um, I wouldn't want to be the one to we give... Need to, Ghanaians need to know the cost of it to the taxpayer. If you just have patience, in a few minutes, His Excellency, the President, will actually come out with the right and then we will speak to it. Does, does he know what he's going to get the money for to pay for this? It, we've, we've looked at all that. And then everything that we are presenting here today is mostly been cost. Mm. Yeah, no, so no. we know where the cost is coming from. I no. mean, it, it, it will be irresponsible of us to come up with things that we don't know where the money is coming from. Uh, as the MPP government is littered with a lot of pro, uh, programs that were not really costed, okay. and uh, including the free, uh, the free HS. Okay. And as a result of that, we are really struggling. In, in, in meeting these things. So, okay. absolutely. All right. Many thanks to Kweku Rikit Hagan. He, he is uh, a former uh, Deputy Minister of Finance. I'm, I'm joined also by the Ningo Pram Pram MP, Sam George. Sam, much anticipated. Finally, the day is here for you. What's your expectation? Well, the People's Manifesto is about to be outdoored. We are going to be putting out what we have been told by the Ghanaian people is their major desire. Uh, I wouldn't want to take the wind out of the flag bearer sail, but I, I'm excited 
with what I, I, I have seen, what I know, what the people of Ghana have said to us. Jobs are a major issue for the Ghanaian people. Jobs, jobs, jobs. It's a major thing. You, you, you had a 2016 manifesto that talked about changing lives and transforming Ghana. You didn't have the chance to implement that because you were kicked out of office. Uh, what's going to be the difference? What's going to be the difference uh, compared to the 2021 that you are going to be launching now? Well, like I said, we, we've had four years of introspection. We've looked at, and, and this manifesto is not just any manifesto. This is the People's Manifesto. The flag bearers had a speak out to us. We've had engagements with loads and loads of Ghanaians, every shade of Ghanaian. And they have told us what they want. They've told us what they want to hear. And that's what we're packaging back for them. So I'm excited that this manifesto is actually going to represent what are the real needs and desires of the Ghanaian people. When you talk about uh, giving free primary health care, one, what is going to be the cost to the taxpayer and where is John Mahama going to get the money from? How do you fund your national health insurance? How do you fund your national health insurance? Your national health insurance is funded through a statutory tax, okay? The free primary health care is going to take care of health care in areas that are in areas that are below the from the district level down and, and lower. And so at the end of the day, once you have that and the, 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 the framework has been built, the NDC has a track record. Our track the record when when the, the NDC, challenge you have had with it in the past is that or well, now is that if uh, your card expires, you are unable to uh, really enjoy it. So the reason he is saying that it's going to be free, that's what I'm asking. Where is he going to get the money from? Where is it going the, to be the issue of where the money will be from, when we said we're going to do educational infrastructure, yeah? When the NDC said we will do educational infrastructure, what did we do? We created the GET Fund. We created the GET Fund. And what did the GET Fund do? The GET Fund has been the major primary driver for educational infrastructure. When we saw that there was a challenge with healthcare, when we saw that there was a challenge with healthcare, what did we do? Uh, uh, with, with energy, what did we do? We created the ESLA. So the NDC has always found and had the way of creating the funds. The, you see, I don't want to take the wind out of the flag bearer sales. The manifesto is going to be launched. When it is launched, you would have all of those details put out. But the NDC has a track record of costing all our projects. And, and, and when, when he also talks about the big push, I know a lot of noise has been made about the big push, that the, ten, the game changer. 10 billion. Uh, what, what, you give a snippet of information. I'm sure you have some information you want to give to us about the big push. Well, the big push comes under the infrastructure sector where I'm a spokesperson. The big push is going to focus on transforming Ghana using the infrastructural drive. And you see, this is a, this is a campaign that's going to be based on the track records. President Mahama has an infrastructural record that is unmatched in the Fourth Republic. And so when he says he's going to do a big push, $10 billion, that's going to revamp our road sector, our health sector, our, our railways, our, our aviation sector, maritime sector, digitization of the economy. Over a five-year period, $10 billion. That is the game changer. And all of these projects are going to put Ghana back to work. Ghanaian contractors have not been working for the past four years. We're going to put them right back to work. And when Ghanaian contractors start working, the Ghanaian people will work. And that is, this is the game changer. Look, this is what is going to bring Ghana back to where it ought to be. Put Ghana back on the pedestal. The big push is the main game changer. And for me, I'm excited about it. After the flag bearer has put out the, the details, we will then go into the, the fine nitty gritties and explain to you how the big push is actually not even going to add to our national debt. That is how innovative the thinking is. That $10 billion is not going to add to our national debt. That's the reality. Okay.